Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 24th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And what a week this has been, or last, last you can say, last four weeks have been. So we did top here at uh, 64K. That's... It's, at the moment, seems like an age ago. And at the moment, we're trading at, give or take, uh, 37K. Uh, and uh, it is struggling. It is um, it is bouncing uh, today on, on Saturday, probably due to the fact that it was oversold. And that sounds very strange as well, that Bitcoin has been, has been in oversold territory. But it is also underneath the 200 moving average. And... We have tested the 200 moving average twice here and got rejected, both on Thursday, on Friday, and now on Saturday we are getting, well, we're far away from the 200 moving average and we're not, um, so we haven't really tested it yet. Got close and then pulled back. So at this point, there are a few things. If 30,000 breaks, so that's around this area here, so where we basically bounced on, this was based on Wednesday, if that breaks, this could drop all the way down to 20,000. 20,000 breaks, then you're looking at probably towards 12,000 and two boards, um, towards a single uh, or 3,000, give or take, for, for Bitcoin. That also sounds really strange. So if we look at Fibonacci retracements for this, so you can see the probably the main reason we have the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement where we hit on Wednesday and then bounce from that. So this is very significant if this breaks then we could see a tidal way all the way down to 100 which is all the way down at 9000 give or take at this point so it's not looking very good for for bitcoin but still we have seen this before it's not anything new it just looks much more dramatic this time around than back in 2017 2019 and so on so it does behave in this pattern but this just got completely out of hand so these moves where things become parabolical they just don't last so so good rule of thumb here if some, something becomes completely um parabolical like this it's it's a massive amount of risk of of buying in such a territory so that is um that is also what we're seeing here that people are definitely getting wiped out when they started investing right up here but due mainly due to a massive amount of hype and yes amounts of amount of hype but if you go back to 2017 bitcoin went from give or take around uh, when it took off was roughly uh, 1300 all the way up to 2000 so uh, 20,000, sorry. Uh, and then in just one week, it lost half of its value. And then it recovered uh, half of that loss. And then it just dropped all the way down. The last next basically year, it lost uh, most of its value and went all the way down to 3,600. And then it recovered again, got all the way up towards 13,500, give or take. And then broke down again, again, underneath the 200 moving average down at 3,800. And then it recovered. And strangely enough, it was basically the Chinese leader that got this going again. Because he, he um, remember, he said something positive about, about cryptocurrency. And then it basically took off after his comment. And uh, since then, it was fairly stable. And then in give or take in November last year, or October last year, this really started to take off. You see the crossing of the MACD uh, right here. Then it took off, and then we have another crossing of the MACD here, and then it just collapsed. And this has been the pattern the last three times. It doesn't mean that it's going to be the same thing happening now. There's just historical data that show uh, are showing that, but it's not looking really good in the 12-hour chart. It seems like this is going to have a long way to go to the downside before recovering. But you should see, or if you or in the past we have seen when we break down towards the 61.8 that recovery half 
and then it really takes off, but it takes a long time. It doesn't mean that we're going to break towards the 200 moving average at this point. It could take several months, gradual grind uh, towards the 200 moving average. That's that could be what will happen here in this in the in for for Bitcoin. So if we look at uh, at Ethereum, so we see that we uh, hit the all-time highs here at uh, four thousand three hundred and forty. Then we broke down all the way down towards uh, eighteen hundred and eight, and then recovered, and now we're trading at uh, twenty two hundred and eighty two. Technical indicators for this are also looking very dreadful. We are approaching oversold conditions for for Ethereum, and uh, we haven't we have tested the uh, 50 moving average twice on the Thursday and also on Friday, and got rejected really hard. And at this point, we tried to rally up towards the 2453, and uh, well, we didn't get really anywhere. We are fairly overstretched as well, so uh, pullbacks at this point are kind of expected as this is so overstretched and also on the edge of being over over um oversold so that usually is the case but they will most likely run into major resistance at the 50 and the 20 exponential and we'll probably have a crossing of the 20 exponential which is a very very shine for this market if you look at the, the weekly chart for for Ethereum, it's it's not strange that we are seeing this breakdown these moves cannot continue forever. But we did see it also in 2017. It broke, went all the way up to 1,436, give or take, and went all the way down to 44. That's an absolutely ridiculous drop in this, um, in this asset. So if you look at uh, Fibonacci retracements for this, you can see that we did approach the 61.8. So if this basically breaks, then we could drop towards the 50 in the weekly chart. That's a 1,024. And then we have the 200 moving average down here at 480. And then after that, it, we're talking about 44 again. But it is to be seen uh, this has happened in the past. We did see it here, kind of saw it here, much more in Bitcoin in 2019. But now this just got absolutely parabolical. And now we're, we, we need a pullback after that. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano has started to break down as well as most other cryptocurrencies have. It did. It was much more resilient than, for example, Bitcoin and Ethereum and many other cryptocurrencies, very, very surprisingly. So at this point, we did rally earlier to the, on Saturday and got rejected right underneath the 20 exponential moving average. And now we're trading at the 1.44. So if we look at Fibonacci retracements also for this, which have been fairly accurate, you can see that on Wednesday when that we have this massive drop to the downside, we'd hit 61.8. That is roughly at $1. Then we recovered more than half. And now we get rejected again. And 61.8 drop but breaks. And then we are see looking at uh, 200 moving average at 0 0.74. And then all the way down towards 0 0.12 and below that. So yes, it, uh, it is a market in general that is breaking down. There's a lot of bad news. And probably much of this growth in this market was due to hype. So people have been hyping this market for several months now. And uh, at the moment, it looks like the bubble has just burst. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin has also had a terrible day today and uh, also had a terrible uh, last three weeks. Wednesday fell all the way down to 144. And uh, if we look at just just look at historical perspective where Litecoin has been. 2019 was right here, had a massive rally. But for the majority of its lifespan, it has been around 21, around here, up towards 40, 50, give or take, around this area here. It's only been uh, since uh, uh, November last year that we saw this um, rally significantly at, at this stage. We could also go weekly here. We did see back in 2017. And 
I think I pointed this out uh, a few weeks ago that I would not be surprised if you know, people were trying to rally this up towards the all time highs here in 2017, where it also got really parabolical and went from uh, 376 all the way down to, give or take the lows here, 21. So we're not far off from what basically happened in 2017. This sell off the last two weeks has been much more aggressive than back in 2017. So yes, uh, if we look at weekly chart, then we have the 50 moving average here down at 117, 200 moving average at 88. And then after that, you the fall, basically the floor will fall off. We, very interesting also here is that also the crossing of the MACD started this massive rally. Now we have a crossing of the MACD to the downside and, and it looks like for an entire cryptocurrency market, that is a very important turning point, uh, statistically speaking. So let's look at NEO. So NEO, we look at the daily chart first. Hits a very high here of 139 and then dropped towards the 200 moving average at 44, rallied a little bit and then just collapsed yet again. So yes, uh, 200 moving average is holding. If that basically breaks, then we could see this dropping significantly lower. It was trading at roughly $11 before it uh, really took off to the upside. So this was a cryptocurrency that, that really... Uh, basically went from, from only in a few months or basically start of this year, uh, give or take 13x. And that's a massive, massive rally for this cryptocurrency. 200 moving average breaks, then then we are looking at 20, 25 and then all the way down to 10 and 12. Uh, so if you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, we probably have broken already the 60. It has already broken. So it's the 200 moving average that is holding at this point. So. This is probably the one that has been hit the hardest, or at least at, on this list that I'm analyze, analyzing, has been hit the hardest from this sell-off. Technical indicators are looking fairly dreadful. MACD is bearish, uh, stochastic is flat at this point, CCI is very bearish, and the RSI is also bearish, on the edge of being oversold, overstretched here. So we could see minor uh, pullbacks, but we also have a crossing of the 20 and the 50, Exponential moving average here, which also is an additional very bad sign for this uh, cryptocurrency. So a rally up towards the 20 is at the moment most likely going to be rejected as we saw also rejections here. So let's look at Dash. So Dash is even worse. We are trading underneath the 200 moving average. Tried to rally above it today, got rejected. Is also on the edge of being oversold. Technical indicators, they are all uh, very bearish at this point. And if we look at Fibonacci retracements for, for this, then we are probably also have broken the 61.8. That was broken a long time ago, up 217. 200 has broken at this point. So there's, there's technically no real floor here. We can go looking way back, probably over here. That's at uh, 130, 34, which was really close to where we basically broke down on Wednesday. But after that, we have to go all the way down to 102 and then, well, 44, 41. So yes, the, the bottom is, is, uh, is uh, or the plug has been pulled for most of these cryptocurrencies at this current stage. So let's look at Dogecoin. So it is holding at the 50 moving average, tried to rally today and uh, well, gave all those uh, of those gains back. So, so if you look at Fibonacci retracements for this, we can see that we are holding at the 61.8, 50 moving average right there, bottom of the bullish band right there. This should be uh, probably as much support as this will get at this point if you don't count the 200 moving average. So if, this kind of breaks, then we're most likely looking at the 200 moving average down here at 0 0.0998. Yes, uh, there's a lot of room to the downside in, in, in for Dogecoin. We're at 44 in the daily chart and technically they are very, very dreadful, looking very dreadful at this current stage. 
If we rally, then we'll mostly run into major resistance at the 0 0.41, which is the 200 moving average. If you look at the weekly chart, there's no really data for the weekly chart here. This, is a, this has only been on this platform for a very short time, so there's no real data for the, for the weekly. So, yes. Hope you found it helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And uh, good luck and thank you very much.